Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to back up your iPhone photos to your iCloud. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. If you have a bunch of photos stored on your iPhone and you don't want to risk losing them if you lose your iPhone or something, you can back them all up to your iCloud and I'll walk you through the steps on how to do that and a few different options you have in terms of optimizing that. So the very first thing that we'll do is to head into our settings here. And then at the very top, you can see your name and we'll tap on that. And then you can see this second tab, it gives you an iCloud option. So we'll tap on iCloud. And then you can see again, the very top, you can see photos. We'll tap on that. Now, this is where you can back up all those photos to your iCloud. So you wanna make sure it's toggled on right here. However, let's go back real quick. I pay for a little bit more storage. I pay for two terabytes of storage. However, if it says at the top here that most of your storage is full and you don't have the photos enabled or toggled on, there's a chance that when you toggle it on, it'll max out what your iCloud storage has. Um, so potentially you need to go in here and hit manage storage. And once you hit manage storage, you can do change storage plan and then okay i have the basically the highest option here but you can hit basically this downgrade options and you can go to 200 megabyte or gigabytes or whatever you need to be able to have enough storage to do that so the first thing is potentially you'll get an error message that you won't be able to turn these photos i you know on to store them on icloud if you don't have enough space but if you do, let's go back into photos here. And there are two different options, optimize iPhone storage and download and keep originals. Now, these two different options are kind of key on what it uses in terms of the space on your phone. So in both instances, it will store a full resolution copy of your photo on the iCloud. However, in these two different options, one will store kind of a fuzzy, low resolution photo on your physical phone itself, and the other one will store the full resolution photo on your phone. So if your phone itself is running out of space, it's good to choose the optimized iPhone storage. This will just leave a kind of fuzzy version of that photo on your iPhone. However, you need an internet connection to be able to access the full resolution version of that photo. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go into photos here and I'm just gonna scroll back to one of my older photos. So let's just choose, I don't know, let's just keep going. Let's choose one of these and you'll notice it'll be a little blurry and then it'll get clear a second later. So it's a little blurry and then you can see there it's gotten really clear. So what that does is that's the difference between it's storing that low resolution file on your iPhone and then iCloud just downloaded that high resolution photo on my phone just because I pulled it up. So those are the two different options that you can either optimize iPhone storage or download and keep originals. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.